Anyway, for our design, um, one of our inspirations is this. And it's, a, it's one of Anne's quotes. November, 3rd, November 8th, 1943. I see the eight of us in the annex as if we were a patch of blue sky surrounded by menacing black clouds. The perfectly round spot on which we're standing is still safe, but the clouds are moving in on us, and the ring between us and the approaching danger is being pulled tighter and tighter. We're surrounded by darkness and danger, and in our desperate search for a way out, we keep bumping into each other. We look at the fighting down below and the peace and beauty up above. In the meantime, we've been cut off by the dark mass of clouds so that we can go neither up nor down. It moves before us like an impenetrable wall, trying to crush us, but not yet able to. I can only cry out and implore, oh ring, open wide and let us out. Now, clouds are a little hard to theatricalize, so the trees, if you've seen the model, the trees, uh, her beloved trees and nature are symbolized in the model. They're, um, well, with lighting, they could look very real and quite warm. However, they're not. They're actually designed as quite, they're quite flat and uh, can represent the enemy moving in. So we're going to do the diary entries live. I'm, you know, I'm not so, it was fine for the time, but I'm much more interested in, in being engaged with Anne and hearing her um, not only talk about what she's writing, and it, won't, it wouldn't be that she would actually take her diary and, you know, stand there and write, but uh, when you read it, and in context of the whole play, she's sort of a narrator, sort of a storyteller, but none of the above. So I think what she's doing is she's addressing Kitty. And therefore, the rest of the world will continue on as she does that. So it will be somewhat of a challenge, um, as we have discovered. Yes, Francis, costume designer? <laughs> how we will change and how we will make the few set adjustments and so forth. <laughs>